All right. Hello, everyone. Once again, thank you all for joining uh, our session today. The topic of this webinar is Coach University's uh, undergraduate offered programs applications, requirements, uh, scholarships, and admission process. As I mentioned, please feel free to insert any questions in the chat box uh, or in the Q&A box uh, here, and I will be answering them at the end of this webinar. I wanted to start this session with a very quick brief about myself. My name is Ahmed from the Global Admissions Office here at Koch University. The speciality is the MENA region. And of course, uh, why the MENA region? Because my mother tongue is Arabic and I come from the same region. So let's start this webinar uh, with the, our location in Turkey. Where are we? So we are, we are located in a Sarier, uh, in Sarier district uh, on the European side of Istanbul city. Sarier is a, actually um, a district in the European side of Istanbul city uh, and the Koch University is located on the hills uh, in the middle of a pine forest uh, where actually uh, our universities uh, offers a full residential campus experience on our beautiful campus, uh, green, uh, that is accessible to central Istanbul and retreat from the distractions of the city life. Uh, also, our university lies just 20 minutes away from the, uh, uh, the nearest uh, metro station and also 20 minutes away from the Black Sea, charming villages, as you can see, and uh, natural landscapes uh, and it's also connected to the city center through several uh, convenient uh, public transportation options. So in this video you will see actually uh, our uh, main campus uh, in Sarier. So, all right, uh, founded, uh, let's talk about the uh, history of our university. 
founded in 1993 in Istanbul city, Turkey, uh, our university is a non-profit private research intensive and American style uh, university that provides a world-class education fully in structured in English. Uh, we have seven colleges with 22 uh, undergraduate programs, four graduate schools with 40 master and 28 PhD programs. And also our university actually has three uh, campuses. The main one that we have just seen through the video and we call it uh, Romali Feneri uh, campus. The second one is Estinia campus and it's for our uh, graduate school of business. Uh, and the third one is our School of Medicine uh, that is located inside our hospital, Koch University Hospital, that is also located in the city center of Istanbul. Let's have also a very quick uh, like uh, overview about some uh, figures and numbers. As you can see here, more, more than 7,000 students from Turkey and abroad like yourself with uh, 521 full-time faculty members and more than 15,900 uh, alumni and also uh, for graduate schools as I mentioned before seven colleges I will be of course talking about the disciplines uh, or majors that we offer at our colleges. This is our uh, university in numbers. You can see from this uh, actually uh, chart, some figures and numbers. And also you can see how uh, the actually the international community body at Koch University, which is uh, 7%, uh, around 542 international students, uh, 232 uh, are undergraduates, 106 uh, masters, 204, PhD students. And those are our international students that actually represent 7% uh, of the international or of the body, uh, the total body at uh, our university. How diverse uh, our university? <clears throat> In this chart, you can also see the nationalities and citizenships. So in this slide, we will talk why an undergraduate degree at uh, Koch University. Of course, everyone like yourself is looking now for the best university where uh, they can pursue their higher education and get the best quality of education simply by asking uh, uh, their high school counselors or by searching through uh, the internet. Uh, of course, at our university, you will have this, the best uh, or the same quality of education that were top 10 universities offer simply because you will be instructed by the best renowned professors with the same courses syllables that top, uh, were top uh, actually universities follow and you will be equipped with the highest sense of ethics, social awareness and responsibility. And of course, at the same time, uh, everyone, uh, is looking for a beautiful campus where they can spend their university life in an academic surrounding that offers all other non-academic facilities. Uh, Coach University actually offers uh, almost every kind of facilities that you can imagine, uh, such as uh, dining uh, and coffee houses, a health center, supermarket, bank, ATMs, shuttle buses, uh, uh, sport facilities like uh, this, oh, we have a very big uh, sports center, uh, gym, fitness halls, football, basketball, tennis, uh, indoor and outdoor uh, swimming pools, uh, ice skating and others. And of course, uh, as a university, uh, uh, Coach University actually focused on creating 
uh, uh, well-rounded, uh, confident uh, individuals in and out uh, the classrooms. And uh, actually uh, our university places tre tremendous value on providing lots of extracurricular activities. As you can see here, we have uh, more than 70 active student sport clubs with diverse uh, social and uh, cultural activities. And all these actually extracurricular activities for our students and uh, they are dedicated to the necessary uh, resources to ensure that these opportunities satisfy and enrich uh, our university experience. Of course, as I mentioned before, the medium of education is fully uh, in English, except for our uh, law program. It's 70% in Turkish, 30% in English. And uh, we are the only university in Turkey that uh, actually offered a medical school right alongside many other colleges uh, of uh, high uh, caliber. And here in this picture, you, all, you can also see uh, the uh, ratio of uh, the student and faculty uh, at our uh, classrooms, uh, which is like 15 to one. And of course, uh, you will have the opportunity to do a semester abroad as we have more than 300 globally ranked uh, partner universities. And of course, not only uh, will you have the opportunity to work with lots of talented and world-class pioneers, but also you will have the same opportunities and high employability chances that our alumni have. You can see here more than 80% uh, of our alumni actually uh, get their uh, first job offer before or during graduation. Let's talk also about ranking. Uh, our university has steadily climbed in various university rankings, both internationally and nationally, and is always striving to achieve even greater heights. Today, our university actually ranked first in Turkey based on the Times Higher Education uh, and QS rankings. And you can also see from here the uh, worldwide uh, ranking. In this slide, you will see our uh, seven colleges and the disciplines or the majors that we offer under every college. So as I mentioned, uh, the law program is the only program that is 70% that is offered 70% in Turkish, 30% uh, uh, in English. And of course, I will be talking about our School of Medicine in details in the upcoming slides. All right. So our university follows the liberal arts education approach that helps students investigate the world uh, from different perspectives. And at the same time, uh, it empowers and uh, prepares them to deal with complexity, diversity, and change. So our programs are uh, four year uh, curriculum programs except for our medicine, which is a six year curriculum program. And every academic year has uh, two semesters, fall and spring. And every semester is around uh, five months. And of course, the summer semester is also available. Is the Turkish proficiency uh, language uh, required uh, for our programs? It's required for our law as I mentioned. However, it's also required uh, by the, four, the, the year four 
onwards for our uh, school of medicine and by the second year onwards for our school of nursing why is that so that our actually medicine and nursing uh, students can interact with the the patients at our hospital and can uh, do their residential uh, classes <clears throat> Also at uh, our university, you will have the oppor uh, opportunity to do a double major. And for you, it's a, a golden chance uh, to do a double major because uh, doing a double major won't actually cost the student any extra fees. You will be actually paying the same tuition fees that you're paying for your major. And we also offer uh, compulsory uh, long internships for our engineering majors. Uh, under the logo, like you will learn how to think and how to do at the same time. And we also offer a course uh, in our uh, uh, actually a first year or for our students uh, in their first year, we call it UNIV or, or University 101, which is actually an introduction to our university. It's actually a one credit year long mandatory uh, orientation course offered to the uh, incoming newcomers. Uh, it aims to help them to successfully transition from high school to uh, university life and undergraduate academic uh, and also social life. What are the extracurricular actually services that we offer to our uh, international and even national students. So we have so many units. The first unit or office that you will meet is our newcomers office. <clears throat> and of course, uh, you will be uh, having the orientation week by uh, that is designed by our colleagues uh, at the newcomers office. Every student also will be uh, assigned to an academic advisor. Uh, the academic advisor is usually one of uh, your professors and he or she will be helping you, supporting you in terms of your study plan uh, and other academic issues. Uh, student mentors usually are actually uh, like fourth or third year students and you will be assigned to one of those mentors and you will be also uh, getting some support uh, or academic uh, consultancy from those uh, mentors. The academic and life skills office actually it offers courses that are designed for all the students to gain awareness about the essential uh, information and skills to be successful at university and in life. The, the subject that are taught actually uh, at this course are self-knowledge and goal setting effective ways of overcoming uh, stress managing relations and communications, public speaking and presentation techniques and others. Office of Learning and Teaching. In this office, you will be able to attend uh, or take any tutoring classes if you have any uh, actually, um, or if you need any support in any course. And usually the tutors are our uh, like PhD students. The library actually uh, in our li li library, uh, you can access all the resources online uh, as physical building. Uh, it is uh, available 24 hours, like seven days a week. And you can use all the facilities there for free, including the private and group rooms. The career uh, development center, actually in this office, you will get all the support uh, for your professional uh, life. You will learn how to write your CV, you will uh, actually uh, do some mock job interviews uh, and others. Also, we have a unit or an office for uh, psychological counseling, student clubs and sport teams, more than 70 active clubs, disability services office for those who need uh, actually or have uh, some disabilities exchange programs as i mentioned before we have more than 300 uh, globally ranked uh, partners uh, uh, like worldwide in the us in canada in the uk in europe uh, east of asia and others and of course you will be able to do an exchange program like an exchange semester or uh, two semesters at those partner universities 
What about accommodation? Do we have an accommodation like dorms? Yes, we do. We have two main dorms. The first one is uh, on campus. The second one, uh, we call it the West Campus, uh, which is a, like 10 minutes or eight minutes away uh, from the main uh, uh, campus. And of course, there are shuttles between uh, those uh, dorms <clears throat> or between the, the, the West Campus or the West Dorm to our main campus. And they are free of charge. Uh, the capacity is around uh, 3,000 students. Of course, there are buildings that are designed uh, with the single uh, gender and shared rooms, like the females' uh, buildings are separated from the males' ones. And the fees, uh, actually, you can get more information about some details about the fees and others by going to our website, dorms.ku.edu.tr. <clears throat> I can tell you like the approximate fees per year, academic year, which is 10 months, is between 1,800 US dollars to uh, 4,800 uh, US dollars. It's up to the room type because there are uh, uh, types And of course, everything will be included, like all the uh, actually the the bills, uh, and also uh, the weekly housekeeping services, and other. Uh, you can also uh, use the shared uh, areas like laundry rooms, kitchens, and lounge, and other uh, uh, um, rooms uh, that are that are actually available at our uh, dorms. All right, for those who are thinking about applying to our medicine program, uh, let me give you some details uh, about this program. It's a six year program, as I mentioned before, and the awarded degree will be medical doctor degree. It's fully taught in English, however, and as I mentioned before, uh, year four onwards, uh, students are required to talk in Turkish and to reach a certain level in Turkish language so that they can interact with the patients at our hospital. The first year will be a theoretical year and the medicine students will be studying and completing their first year at our uh, Rumeli Feneri campus, the main campus. And then in the second and third year, they will start uh, actually uh, going uh, 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 and coming to our hospital. Uh, and afterwards, uh, their fourth, fifth and sixth years will be fully on hospital. I will be also talking about the scholarships in the upcoming slides. And of course, our School of Medicine is uh, accredited by the United States, um, actually in the United States by the Educational Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates, uh, ECFMG, and also by the GMC in the UK. Our hospital is also a, a research and teaching hospital and it's actually uh, accredited by the joint Commission International and Coach University Hospital is also a member in the American hospitals. All right, let's talk about the uh, admissions and deadlines and other uh, process. We have one intake uh, every year. Uh, fall, uh, basically in fall, September. The deadlines, as you can see here, we have three different uh, deadlines. And of course, uh, those are like admission session deadlines and there is no major difference in terms of advantages or benefits between the admission uh, session deadlines as all of them refer to the same uh, intake, which is fall, uh, September 2021, however, and since we have a quota only for our medicine program, which is 20 international students, it is highly recommended for those who are considering applying for medicine program to apply as earliest as possible to secure their seat. So this is why we have three session deadlines. If you are considering to apply for a medicine, please make sure to submit your online application uh, as soon as possible, the earlier, the better. How to apply to our university? Shall I send my documents 
uh, through mail or post? The answer is no, you should actually apply online. This is our online application link, apply.ku.edu.tr. And from there, you will be able to create an online application to fulfill, submit all the requirements, and then uh, make sure uh, that you submitted the application. As a university, we are a selective uh, university. So we look always for the quality of students and we look holistic. We look at every single academic credential that the students actually provide in their online application. What are the application requirements? So as you can see here, the main requirement is an international standardized test score, such as SAT1 or SAT2 or ACT or for those who are taking IB diploma, they can apply with their uh, IB, or those who are applying with their A2 or uh, A level, they can apply with that. So uh, those who have A2, A level or IB diploma do not need to take the SAT or the ACT. So they can apply with one of those scores. Of course, you will need also your high school transcripts, your 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. For some of you, or almost all of you, may not have the second semester transcript, so they can apply with their uh, first semester transcript of their 12th grade. And if available, if uh, any of you have uh, uh, the, uh, any of you has, let's say, the um, high school diploma, they can include that if available. The motivation letter is also one of our main requirements. You need to write a motivation letter. If you are applying for more than program because the system will allow you to choose up to three preferences, then you need to write uh, uh, actually one uh, motivation letter for every program. And of course, those who are going to apply for medicine, they will be asked to do uh, a record uh, uh, and online uh, actually interview videos. You will be asked for a recommendation letter. So you will need to actually include your uh, teacher or high school counselor uh, email address in uh, your online application and then you can send the invitation request to them so that they can uh, submit the recommendation letter for you. If you have any extracurricular activities or achievements, uh, certificates, you can also include them uh, to your online application. The application fee also is required. Uh, it is actually 200 Turkish lira, which is approximate uh, 26 or 25 actually uh, uh, US dollars. And it can uh, be uh, paid uh, through any credit card. What about the English proficiency? Uh, actually, it's optional for our admissions. If you have TOEFL or CAE uh, or PTE, you can include that, but it's not required for our admissions. If you have IELTS, IELTS actually uh, scores are currently not accepted in Turkey. However, if you have already taken them, you can include it uh, as um, like an English proficiency indicator but uh, they will not, like your IELTS scores, will not actually exempt you from our English requirement afterwards. Like uh, afterwards, if you are admitted, if you are offered the admissions, then either you send us uh, your uh, TOEFL IBT score, which is a minimum 80 out of 120 in the summertime, or you can take our English placement exam. So admitted students can take our English placement exam, we call it uh, KUEPE, during registration week. What about the minimum scores required from those tests? So as I mentioned, again, I'm repeating, you need only one of uh, these uh, listed tests or diploma to apply with. And the, and the second here, in the second column, this is uh, the minimum requirements or uh, scores for the, uh, all the programs or faculties, uh, except for medicine and law. For medicine and law, you can see it here.
I will give you like 30 seconds so that you can check. If, you, if you're applying with US 81, so for medicine 100, oh, sorry, 1,450. Other programs, except for engineering, it's uh, 1,180. For engineering, 1,200. And from these uh, two charts, you can see the average test scores of our previously enrolled international students for every college here. And the second chart is for the IB diploma. So here are some tips for how to apply. As I mentioned, you will have up to three programs to select while applying. So you can choose and uh, put them according to your preferences. Like for example, you apply for medicine, then you apply for molecular biology and genetics, and then you can apply for chemistry. Just in case you were not admitted for the first program, then you will be actually considered for a, a second one. For those who are actually uh, still uh, not able to provide SAT or ACT because of the current situation that we live, uh, COVID-19 pandemic, uh, they actually can still apply without an SAT uh, test score and indicate that they will provide it later on. So they can actually, our system online application will allow them to apply without any SAT or ACT. And uh, also will allow them to indicate that they will provide it later on if they are offered the conditional admission. For the motivation letter, as I mentioned, if you are applying for uh, three programs, you should write a motivation letter and tailor it to every actually uh, program. For those who are actually doing their IB diploma or GCE, the A-level A2 uh, uh, grades, they can apply with their predicted ones, right? The system will allow you to put your predicted grades and will allow you to also to put the date that you obtained your uh, predicted grades. However, uh, all this information that I was talking about you, uh, can be found here at our website, international.ku.edu.tr. I highly recommend you to go here. Again, please save this website link, international.ku.edu.tr. Once you go here, then you can, you can go to undergraduate programs and then to how to apply. You will see all these details and information there. What happens after I submit my application? Well, after you submit your online application, uh, there will be actually document check, and then uh, there will be the uh, a view uh, uh, for a review for the admission um, for the admissions. And after that, if you are offered the admissions, then uh, actually there will be. Uh, and uh, like there will be a consideration, let's say for the scholarship, if you uh, deserve a scholarship uh, and you were nominated for one, then it will be actually um, given to you and it will be included in the same offer letter. After the offer letter is done, then it will be sent to you. Once the offer letter is sent, then you will be asked to uh, do a tuition deposit 
or down payment, like a prepayment of 1,000 US dollars. Of course, if you are offered 100% scholarship, then you will be exempted from this requirement. And then you will complete the matriculation. And some of you may ask about Dinklick. What is this? It's actually the equivalency letter that you will need actually to uh, provide for the enrollment. You can apply for this letter, the Dinklick, uh, in Saudi Arabia. You can apply for it at the uh, embassy or the consulate. You can ask about that. And you will need your high school transcripts, high school diploma, and a copy of your passport or residence permit. They will let you know how to apply for it. And then you will complete your enrollment. Of course, for those who are applying for medicine, as I mentioned, they will have to do an online interview only for those who are applying for medicine. What about the tuition fees? This is a table for our tuition fees for uh, the academic year 2021-2022. If you have a Turkish nationality, then you can check the tuition fees later on. We haven't announced them yet, but they will be announced in the summertime. This is for the international students who do not have a Turkish nationality. Of course, the medicine tuition fees are 26,500 US dollars. The rest are 19,500 US dollars. What about the costs? And can I afford to study at Koch University? Here you can see, like we did. Um, a study with some approximate numbers for what you need to complete uh, your education. So per year, you will need a budget between 20, uh, 24,000 to 27,000 US dollars. Of course, if you are uh, going to study medicine, it's going to be between uh, 32, thousand to thirty five thousand US dollars per year. Of course, this annual uh, annual budget includes like your uh, dorms, other expenses like food, books, travel and others, plus the tuition fees, of course. And this is based on not getting any scholarship. <clears throat> All right, what about the scholarships? How can we apply for a scholarship at uh, Coach University? Of course, first of all, you need to, to know that we don't have any separate application for a scholarship. We have only one, on, uh, one uh, online application and all candidates are automatically considered for academic merit scholarship. So there is no section to indicate that I need a scholarship. All you have to do, you can still write in your a motivation letter that I would like to be considered for a scholarship, okay? And we have only one type, we call it the Academic Merit Scholarship, and it uh, covers only the tuition fee. It doesn't cover any other expenses like housing, food, books, or any others. And of course, this Academic Merit Scholarship is given for the, the duration of your studies. If you are going to study medicine, so it's going to cover uh, uh, the duration, which is six years, other programs, it's going to be for four years. What types of scholarships? We have two types. Uh, the first one is 100%. The second one is 50%. So either you get this or that, or you may get 0% scholarship. So who is deciding and how can I increase my uh, uh, chances and what shall I provide to be uh, considered for a scholarship? Uh, first of all, you need to know that the scholarship is decided by the academic admission committee headed by the relevant college dean. For medicine, uh, still it's possible to get a, a partial uh, or a scholarship at our school of medicine, but it's extremely competitive because not only you will be 
uh, actually uh, uh, will you be co actually competing with uh, international students, but also you will be competing with national ones. And of course, the scholarship percentage depends on quality of applicant pool to each program, each evaluation period that you are applying in. Is there any specific or minimum uh, GPA, minimum score that I should uh, uh, actually get to like uh, get 50% uh, or 100%? The answer is no, there are actually, or there is no specific test score or cut off scores to be considered or to be awarded any scholarship. So it's going to be like a holistic admission and evaluation process. And all these elements like your GPA, your test scores, uh, your uh, motivation letter, recommendation letters, and the extracurricular achievements will be taken in consideration. So based on your academic credentials, you will be considered or not for a scholarship. If we have any transfer um, like participants today, is it possible to apply uh, as a transfer to Koch University? Like I'm studying right now at the university and I want to transfer. The answer is yes, you can transfer from your university to Koch and these are the requirements and the criteria for the eligibility. You need at least to finish two uh, semesters and at most five semesters and your GPA should be minimum 2.40 out of four in order to apply. This is for the transfer students, not for the freshmen or the new students that they are still in their high schools. Finally, this is our uh, contact details here. Of course, as I mentioned before, this is our webpage, international.ku.edu.tr. Please make sure to visit uh, our website. You will have all this information that I was saying, I was explaining in this uh, website. And of course, please feel free anytime to send us an email for any query study at ku.edu.tr and you will get your answer in less than 24 hours. And please also follow us on Instagram. We are so active and on YouTube and other social media. Thank you so much. That was it. I tried to be uh, as free as possible. Now I will go and answer your Q&A questions. Okay, so let's start. How much does the scholarship cover? As I mentioned, uh, the scholarship uh, covers the duration of your studies. Whether it's like a, if you're studying a four year program, then it's going, it's going to cover four years. If you're studying medicine, so it's going to be for six years. There is no computer science. Actually, we have computer engineering and our computer engineering program is uh, actually, the curriculum of our uh, computer engineering program is more into computer science. You can check the curriculum of our computer uh, program. How do I submit predicted grades for A-level? Uh, the online application will show you how when you go and start your online application. Uh, you will be able to see how to put your uh, A grades. Uh, you will put the grades also. You will choose the, the type or the name of your grades, and then you will put uh, the date of obtaining your A grades, A level grades. The system won't allow you to put any future date. So please put the date of obtaining your A level grades. However, uh, if you still have any difficulties, please send us an email. Uh, or you can also check our website. We also managed a tutorial video for how to complete the online application. You will see uh, that step by step. We have a question for high school's transcript. Is it okay for 12th grade was in a different program, which means that I was in the American program for uh, grade 10th and 11th, but switched to the national program in 12th Yes, it is okay. And you can actually include that in our online application. When it comes uh, to uh, the education section, the system will allow you to put two different blocks. 
the first part you can put it for your uh, um, American uh, program and then you can insert another plug for the national program you can put the grades there and please you can also watch our tutorial video for how to complete the online application is it okay for uh, if my recommendation letter was written by my 11th grade teacher not 12th grade well uh, it is okay but it's not highly recommended it's preferred to be from your 12th grade teachers I already applied, but it didn't ask for an application fee. All right. So for those who applied before or for those who submitted their online application before January 15th, the online application didn't ask them for any application fee. So those who applied before January 15th are exempted from this requirement. It's 82. Is it uh, is canceled? How is that? Like, what is the question here? I, I couldn't understand. How does taking TOEFL help me with my application? Well, it's going to increase your chances. Again, as I mentioned uh, in our uh, scholarship evaluation, uh, our admission committee look at everything. They look at the students' academic credentials, like their uh, test scores, their uh, high school grades, uh, their uh, motivation letter, recommendation letter, and also if they have uh, TOEFL, uh, this will increase their admission and scholarship chances. And of course, you will be afterwards exempted from taking uh, our English placement test. If I graduate from medicine in Koch, can I directly work in the US? Well, actually you need to uh, do, I believe a test uh, uh, there. However, please send us an email so that we can direct you uh, in the right way. Is there financial aid for international students applying to undergraduate medicine? Unfortunately, we don't offer any financial aid scholarships. Can you maybe show us the fees for students uh, with Turkish nationalities uh, from previous years, just so that we can have an idea about how much uh, it may be or might be, uh, or maybe give us more details about the fees for students with the Turkish nationalities? Well, basically, the Turkish or those uh, international students with Turkish citizenships uh, pay a bit less than the international students and they can pay in Turkish lira instead of US dollars. Uh, if you still uh, want to uh, get more details, please send us an email so that we can send you the link from those previously admitted um, for, uh, for actually uh, the previously uh, um, previous years uh, tuition fees. How can I access the recording? Well, after uh, this uh, webinar is done, then uh, it will be uploaded to our uh, YouTube channel. And then uh, a link will be sent to every one of you so that you can watch it once again. <clears throat> what ratio of students are accepted into medicine scholarships per year? Well, we don't have a ratio and we do not uh, like announce or, or publish uh, any information in this regard. I have already applied for the medical scholarship, so I just want to know when can I know if I'm accepted or no. So uh, if you uh, submit your online application correctly and you don't have any missing document, then students can anticipate hearing back from the admission committee with the final decision uh, in six to eight weeks after you submit your online application. Do you uh, super score SATs? No, we don't actually accept super scores. I want to transfer to medical school. Can I apply for fourth year and what the real GPA needed to have a chance? Well, as I mentioned, uh, if you are uh, studying in a, another university and you, want, and you want to transfer, I already mentioned that you need 
to minimum finish uh, uh, two semesters, maximum five semesters, and then you can apply as a transfer. Uh, however, um, we do not have any inputs regarding the admissions or the scholarship chances. So I cannot tell you um, like what is the required. We, I can tell you the minimum GPA required, which is 2.40 out of four, but uh, we don't have any inputs. Uh, like we cannot give you any admission decisions because this will be taken by the academic admission committee headed by the relevant dean. <clears throat> about the conditional acceptance for medicine, I got uh, 1,410 in my SAT, but you mentioned I need uh, 1,450 to get accepted. Should I uh, include my uh, 1,410 score until I repeat it? Well, uh, you can apply with your 1,410 SAT score. However, uh, we do not recommend that. Uh, we highly recommend you to apply with your uh, final SAT that you will be uh, taking. Uh, uh, you will be taking it uh, in the future. So please take your SAT once again and then apply with you, your new score. How many scholarships will you or uh, will be awarded this year? Uh, we don't have any specific numbers about the scholarships. For the recommendation letter, I feel that due to COVID and school lockdown, that my 12th grade teacher doesn't know me and cannot answer questions about me compared to grade 11. We actually attend the school. Okay, then you can ask your uh, 11th grade for this uh, recommendation letter. Is there anything other than TOEFL that helps my scores in competition for medicine students? Yes, uh, the extracurricular achievements, activities. If you have ever done any medical activity at any medicine or like a health center or a hospital, uh, this kind of activities actually uh, helps and support uh, the students in their uh, actually admission and scholarship consideration. For the recommendation letter, I feel that due COVID-19 and school, okay, this is, uh, this is repeated, I believe. We answered that already. I have made one SAT subject test. Does including it with my SAT one help in my application? Well, uh, if you have a good grade above 700, then yes, you can add it. What is the acceptance rate for engineering? We don't have any acceptant, acceptance rates. We don't announce them. But we can tell you like the average from last year's. Uh, let me go back here, just a second. From those previously uh, admitted here, if you're asking for the engineering, you can check the second here. And their SAT uh, scores average was 1328, like 13, 30. For A-level students, our A2 marks uh, are out of in August, but due to uh, date for application is till July. What should I do? You can apply with your predicted A2 grades. As I mentioned before, I will repeat, you can apply with your predicted A2 or A-level grades, okay? But please, when you apply with your predicted grades, put the date of obtaining them. Do not put the date uh, of your final uh, like grades in, in August because the system won't allow you to put any future date. Can you provide a postgraduate report for coach st uh, students placement in graduate schools in North America and Europe engineering well, we can, you can send us an email so that we can send you a report. If I finish six semesters, can I still up, uh, like apply for transfer and only consider five semesters? <clears throat> well, I need to uh, actually, we need to double check uh, about this with our registrar's office. However, um, yes, you can, you can apply, you can still apply. 
for engineering, is the overall SAT score more important for admission or just the math section uh, score? Well, uh, it's always yes about the overall. Of course, you need to fulfill the overall uh, um, minimum requirement. And then, uh, yes, your uh, math score is preferred to be above 700. If I volunteer in any hospital for medicine or medicine place, does my score in competition increases? Uh, the answer is yes. If you have actually volunteered or you have any activity, yes, please add them to your extracurricular achievements. Do professors and students talk in Turkish during? The answer is no. It's fully offered in English, as I mentioned before. However, only for our law program, which is designed for uh, to actually um, Turkish citizens, uh, the language of education is 70% uh, in Turkish, 30% in English. Do you accept the Saudi national exams? Yes, they are accepted, but applying only with a national exam will make your admission chances lower comparing to uh, other applicants applying with international test scores. Does coach accept super scoring in SAT? The answer is no, we don't accept super score. I answered that already. Is it possible to be exempted from a certain amount credits courses through advanced placement examination in calculus uh, and physics? The answer is yes. After you are admitted, and offered the admissions uh, during the registration enrollment week, please present your advanced uh, uh, placement uh, uh, courses to our registrars and they will <clears throat> actually, uh, there will be a committee that uh, will um, like hold a meeting and then they will transfer those credits if they fulfill our, or if they are similar uh, and equal to our course uh, 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 or our courses. Is it possible to admit twice, but with different exams? Like, what is the question exactly? I couldn't understand. Can you please elaborate that more? Is there any minimum requirement for AB exam scores? The AB uh, exams uh, or scores are not actually included in our minimum, like admission minimum criteria. So we don't accept them as uh, an international test score. However, if you have them, you can apply to transfer those credits uh, if you are offered the admissions. We have a question, is there or will there be any Turkish language preparation course prior to start the first semester? Uh, no, we don't have that because the uh, medium of education at our universities, English. We have an English prep school, not Turkish. Okay, I believe that was it. Thank you so much, everyone, uh, for attending. Okay, we have a question before I uh, end up. Oh, okay, we have now two questions. Our applications, of, okay, our applications submitted at April have lower chances to be accept, accepted than now. As I mentioned before, there is no major difference in terms of advantages or benefits uh, between the admission session deadlines, as all of them refer to the same intake, which is sep September. However, if you are applying for medicine, and since we have a quota for this program, which is 20 international students, so we take only 20 international students for our medicine program, so it's highly recommended to apply and submit your online application as soon as possible. What is, uh, what I mean is that, is it okay to apply with this AT1 score, which I will do in March and then apply again with this AT subject test if I didn't get accepted? Of course, yes, you can apply once again. If you are not offered the admissions, you can apply once again. However, but uh, you need to apply with the different email address because the system won't allow you to apply with the same email address twice. <clears throat> I will do, okay, this is answered. Okay, uh, thank you all, it was a pleasure.
uh, actually uh, having you all. And I would like to thank you once again for attending this webinar. Uh, please feel free to contact us. Let me go again to our last page here. Uh, at our email address and check our website international.ku.edu.tr for any uh, required information and uh, please stay safe and healthy we look forward to receive to receiving your uh, actually online applications uh, thank you once again have a lovely day bye bye